Friday, K-Squad. Summer is arguably one of the best seasons of the entire year. So let's talk about how we can stay living below our means this season. Number one is bring your own food everywhere. Road trips, going to the park, going to the beach. You never quite know when hunger will strike. And especially if you have little ones who turn hangry on a dime or just regular old adults like me. You don't want to be caught empty handed and have to spend double or triple what you would have if you just brought your own food. Make it a policy this summer to keep a little snack stash either in your vehicle or in your bag at all times so you don't have to break the bank running to a fast food place in a panic when the hanger sets in. Number two, reduce the use of your stove to keep it cooler in the home. I've been on a roasted vegetable spree. I just love to roast vegetables in the oven. I love the way it tastes, but I don't enjoy the extreme heat it brings to my kitchen, especially in the summer. Before you say get an air fryer, I still don't have an air fryer. Let me know in the comments. Is it time, K-Squad? Do I need to save up for this air fryer? Let me know if I need to get it this summer or can I just wait, pretty please, can I just wait and put it on my Christmas list? I'd like to wait, but let me know. Am I really missing out or is it urgent? My biggest beef, honestly, with getting an air fryer for my kitchen is I don't have a big kitchen. I've got a small kitchen. I really don't see where it would fit comfortably because I don't have a lot of counter space or cabinet space. So it's not really something I'm interested in right now. Maybe sometime. I digress. In the meantime, go for lighter, cooler meals. It's summer. Enjoy salads, fresh fruit, little sandwiches, cold wraps, raw veggies, and hummus. And while we're talking about keeping the house temp down, just a reminder, keep your curtains and your blinds closed during the day because blocking the sunshine can really help your energy bill. One of my favorite morning traditions when I open my house I open up the shades, I let the sun in, and I just love that first part of the morning feeling. And then sometimes I forget to close them, and when I come home, I feel nothing but regret. <laughs> so keep them closed during the day. In the evenings, if it's cool enough, opt to open the windows. This is dicey for me, because I can't sleep if I'm hot and sweaty. So choose wisely, don't sacrifice good sleep to save a few bucks. Not worth it. Number three, enjoy free exercise this summer. Walking is my favorite exercise besides dancing. And during the nice weather, I love to go out for early morning walks before it gets too hot or an evening stroll right before the sun goes down. Those are like my two favorite times. If you have a gym membership and you love it, go ahead and keep it. But if you aren't really getting your money's worth, consider freezing your membership for the summer or like if you're really not using it all consider canceling but that's of course entirely up to you just gauge is it worth it or not or can you just make use of the outside this summer instead get outside walk jog swim exercise with your own body weight like in your backyard or in your house think like lunges calf raises push-ups etc you don't have to pay to stay in shape if you just use what you've got. Number four, condense trips to the store. Listen, I only plan to go to the store one time per week, and that's for two reasons. One, it saves me lots of time. And two, I believe it saves me money by not being tempted every time I go into the store. Every time. You step into that grocery store, you potentially fall prey to temptation or end cap ads and displays that might entice you to get you to try that product. If you do grocery pickup, that's helpful for sure. This is something I still haven't gotten into the habit of, but I think about it time to time. I still currently like to choose my own produce with my own eyes. I think it's just a control thing I haven't quite relinquished yet, but maybe in the future I will. I don't want to spend my time driving to multiple stores or doing it multiple times a week. In my mind, I commit an hour per week 
to gathering food, give or take. And I like sticking to that. And also, if you have like a barbecue coming up on the weekend during the summer, think ahead so that you know what you want to contribute so that you can get it during your weekly grocery trip so you don't have to rush back to the store to do one-offs. I despise doing one-offs. Oh, I forgot this. Oh, I forgot that. One-off shopping is a slippery slope. Number five, plan ahead to go out. Make sure things are in the budget before you agree to every social event you're invited to this summer. Of course we wanna say yes whenever we are really interested or want to support someone for the special things that are going on in their life, baby showers, bridal showers, birthdays, etc. But sometimes we have to budget our budget and we have to budget our time and not overcommit and make ourselves stressed and sometimes sick. Overcommitting can cause stress. In summer is hopefully a time that we can possibly implement less stress. So keep it simple, accept excitedly to attend and be present and engaged to the invites that you happily want to be at. And if something feels like dread, or if you're really on the fence, and if you're wasting time and energy trying to come up with excuses as to why you can't go, just respectfully decline. There are only so many hours you get in a day and you must choose sometimes. Don't waste too much time obsessing. I am notorious for this, by the way. So take it from an obsessor. Don't do it. Now is your turn, my favorite part. What's one way that you're thinking about living below your means this summer so you can save for the things that you value the most? Leave it in the comments. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share, and ring that bell so you never miss a video. Click here next to watch another one that I think you're really gonna love. And I'll see you next week, K-Squad. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.